Has someone ever tried to steal credit for your biggest achievement? I'm Sarah, and I spend my days in the back corner of our tech company's R&D lab, surrounded by humming servers and the scent of soldering flux. While sales gets champagne lunches and executives get corner offices, I'm hunched over circuit boards, building the products that keep our lights on. For 18 months, I'd worked nights and weekends on something special, a breakthrough in lithium-ion battery technology that could revolutionize electric vehicles, extending range by 40% while reducing charging time to minutes. My supervisor knew about the project, but I I kept technical details close. This was my shot at getting noticed in a company where innovation seemed to matter less than office politics. The work consumed me. I missed birthday dinners, skipped hiking trips, lived off vending machine coffee and determination. When I finally cracked the problem three weeks ago, I felt like I'd discovered fire. Last Tuesday, everything changed. Our CEO announced a meeting about game-changing innovation. I almost skipped it, preferring to test my latest prototype. I slipped into the packed auditorium's back, still wearing my lab coat. On stage stood Marcus Wellington, our VP of engineering, adjusting his designer tie. Behind him, a massive slide showed my battery design in crisp professional graphics, my 18 months of work, my breakthrough. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus announced, I'm proud to present the Marcus 7 battery system. My heart stopped. He'd named my invention after himself, like some tech visionary instead of a middle manager who hadn't touched engineering work in five years. The crowd erupted as Marcus described his revolutionary approach. Every detail was lifted from my research notes, my breakthrough moments at 2 a.m. He even used my exact phrasing about paradigm-shifting efficiency curves. Colleagues I'd worked beside for years cheered like he was a technological messiah. Jennifer from accounting wiped away a tear, calling him brilliant. These people walked past my corner lab daily, never acknowledging my existence, now celebrating my work while crediting someone else. Marcus's eyes found me in the back, meeting mine with a smug smile that said, what exactly are you going to do about it? I stood slowly. Excuse me, I called out, my voice carrying across the silent auditorium. Marcus's expression flickered. Yes, I just wanted to ask, do you know who I am? 400 faces turned toward this, nobody interrupting their golden boy's triumph. Should I? Marcus replied with a dismissive chuckle. I'm Sarah Chen, the actual inventor of that battery system you just presented. Every circuit, every algorithm, every breakthrough moment you described. Murmurs rippled through the audience. Marcus forced a laugh. That's quite a claim from someone in what department? Maintenance? I pulled out my phone, scrolling through documented research. Would you like to see 18 months of development logs, all time stamped, or detailed schematics with my digital signature, or the patent application I filed last Friday with my name as sole inventor? Dead silence. Marcus's face cycled through confusion, anger, and dawning panic as his house of cards collapsed. Our CEO stepped forward. Marcus, my office. Now, security, escort Mr. Marcus out. As security flanked him, Marcus turned to the crowd, composure cracking. Do you know who I am? I'm the VP of engineering. You were the VP, David corrected. Sarah, would you mind joining me upstairs? We have a promotion to discuss. The auditorium erupted again, but this time with my name attached. Marcus spent his last minutes arguing about his parking placard. I spent mine getting offered his corner office and a budget to turn the Marcus 7, soon to be renamed, into the industry standard.